we're gonna try this again because why? Broadband, Ethernet cords, internet cables, all of these things. Russia. Ukraine, Russia. Hey, poor <laughs> parents. Hey. It's been hard trying to get on here today. I don't know if everybody on the internet, the internet. I don't know what's going on, mm -hmm. but we are excited to chat with you. So we are coming to you live. Right now? Why don't we do it? Because you know what? We had, we're not having charcuterie. We're having pizza today mm -hmm. from the amazing Costco. <laughs> hey! We're on. Hey! Hey! Welcome back from vacation! I heard you went to the mall deep. Thank you. How was that? Yes! How was the mall deep? Can you hear me? It's a little delayed internet action, but we had that too gotcha. a moment ago. Okay, okay. That's like, I think we caught up. I think the internet caught up. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay, are we caught up on um, your internet too? Yep, yep. Okay, great. All right, how was your vacation? Turks and Caicos? Or no, Maldives. My bad, Maldives. Yes, Maldives. <laughs> it was good. It was too short. Too short, for sure. But yeah. coming back from... 80, almost 90 degree weather in the beach and sand to 37 degrees and rainy was not fun. Don't recommend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I wish I was you in the Maldives mm -hmm. like right now. Mm -hmm. Like just to even be able to be like, I was in the Maldives. Oh my God. That's like, I know, right? That's like travel yeah. destination. Like, uh, it's definitely a bucket list trip for sure, for sure. Uh, well, you got to tell us. Okay, <laughs> so we're excited to talk to you. We we're talking to Shayla with four pairings. We're going to get into the mm -hmm. boxes and all that, but, like, you do tra – she does travel. So, like, yes. travel <laughs> trip, were you out there, like, doing some reconnaissance? What, what were we doing in the Maldives? Oh, no, just relaxing. No work, all play just chilling it was very necessary <laughs> yeah i know you're about to ask so. a question because well, i wanted to go to maldives i also want to go to church and caicos i kind of feel like they're like mm -hmm. kind of like similar like the, the look and the view like where did you stay how did you like it you know so um we <laughs> We stayed um, in the Maldives. We stayed at the um, the Sheridan, which had like the overwater bungalows, and it was a very a nice resort. Um, it was all inclusive, so food, drinks, didn't have to worry about anything. Honestly, went to the spa, had a, an amazing massage, and just laid out. Got a little sunburnt, but not too much. Um, but. But yeah, well, the water is right. beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the water was beautiful. The um the food there was really good. Uh they kept the drinks flowing, so I have no complaints other than I wish I was there a little longer. <laughs> wow. I mean I I just like one of the purest like blue water you know mm -hmm. like places destination places to go like how yep. did you swim did you go snorkeling did you see like turtles like what what was what was the water like like give us give us all oh. that <laughs> the water was crystal clear um, one of the brightest blues that you could ever see. Um, didn't see any turtles, but I did see some sharks. <laughs> they have the, um, I forget the name of the sharks, but they're the no teeth. And so they don't really bite you or bother you. Um, so I saw those floating around in the water. Um, lots of fish. Um, 
a lot of people went snorkeling and scuba diving and saw some amazing things, dolphins. Um, so they saw all of the good kind of uh, sea life, <laughs> the kind that doesn't eat you alive. Swim with the sharks. Yeah, someone asked that. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I didn't swim with the sharks. I saw the sharks in the water, but <laughs> I wasn't in there at the time. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, you're back here now, all in one piece. You didn't get home, not a scrape. I hope not. So... And nope, know no. Poor parents. What you got going on with that? Oh, so yes, we got an amazing box for you. Still, still putting together boxes. Um, February is the um, this month's box was based off of um, Tawny Port. So when you think of port, you think a little elegance, some class, some richness. And um, that's kind of what was displayed in the box with, um, there was French baguettes and duck roulettes, um, just kind of like a duck pate to spread on with um, uh, spice plum and port preserves and creme brulee, chocolate truffles and um, apple pie caramels. So it was really a rich, decadent box and a lot of people enjoyed it. So that was really good one. We have um, next month's box. Um, it uh, next month will be based off of um, Australian Riesling. So there'll be lots of fun snacks in there. Yeah, yeah. And you guys get oh, the. So, um, so how are you like? Can... Sorry, there's like a little delay. Sorry. Gotcha. <laughs> No, I was saying you guys are getting the um, the first um, hand details on uh, next month's box because I haven't told anyone what Riesling it or what month in um, March is going to be. So yeah, Riesling. Mm. And you know, I, I can do a Riesling now. I'm like, you know, <laughs> yes. Day, Renee, you know, I can put a heart. Yes. I'm yes. Here for it. So you're, you're saying it's Australian, though, focused, right? Yes. Australian focused because they're typically known for their dry Rieslings versus Germany with their, they have um, six levels of sweetness. So um, I wanted to make that clear as far as what's in the box. It pairs more towards um, a drier Riesling versus something that's sweeter. I'm excited about this. You're like, going down under. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, they're they're delicious. How are you pairing like like where are you cultivating and curating all these Australian like bites and wines? Are you getting it from and sourcing it from like the US? Or, like or are you getting it from somewhere in Australia? Like how are you getting these items? No. So um, with the the snacks and things that I um, that I put in the boxes, um, they can come from anywhere. Um, I don't particular. Sometimes I'll look for something that is like if it's a French wine, look for something that's French. Um, but for this one, I didn't um, I didn't source anything from Australia. Um, but it's more of like a comfort food um, based box, like in, in something light and and very easy, especially when we're coming into spring, we want something a little lighter. Um, the weather is supposedly getting nicer. Um, so we'll try to have a little more a little more fun with it. Um, so that's what the the snacks in this box are going to represent. I know you got questions because you you know how you do it. You, he was filled the, the, the box. He was trying to steal the cup. He was trying to steal like everything. Yeah. I wanted the whole thing. She's like, nope, you know, uh, examine this. Sherry is Terry. Right. You know, 
no, I don't do that. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> how did you get into this? Um, so, when I started taking my um, wine education courses, the WSET courses, uh, we were drinking a lot of wine and, um, well, tasting a lot of wine. So, say, tasting a lot of wine. Uh oh, you're um, breaking up. The wheel of death. Yeah. Come back. The wheel is turning. Uh -oh. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, oh, I think I lost you on my headphones. Okay. You can hear, can you, you hear me. You were saying uh, you were in class. Y'all were tasting wine and not drinking. Not drinking. You were tasting. tasting. Yeah. 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 And so, um, a lot of times you can get more of the nuances of wine when you have it paired with a certain type of food. Um, some wine tastes a lot better with food, but also, um, I didn't want to get drunk. I wasn't trying to get drunk because as you know, like a lot of wine professionals have, uh, the ability to spit out wine. I haven't learned that technique yet, <laughs> and I don't like to waste wine. So, okay. especially if it's good, it's like wait. Right, right. Um, so I wanted something on hand, something very easy to snack on uh, while going through these tastings, because I'm not a huge fan of cooking. I don't want to cook a whole meal every time I'm tasting wine. Um, so just ha being able to have something to snack on while I'm doing my studies um, was what I really wanted. And so that's kind of how poor pairing came along because I figure if something that I'm interested in or I would want, then other people would want it. Um, plus, a, it's a fun way to learn about wine pairings and why certain things pair well with certain wines and why others don't. Um, so kind of make it fun and interesting and delicious. So with poor parents, is it a subscription? Like how do people uh, purchase the boxes? And also I wanted to dive deeper into, well, that's question one. And then question okay. two is, like, I know you, you know, you got into it, you wanted to pair snacks with the, with the wine, right? But what really, like, fueled your entrepreneurial drive to, like, bring this, you know, outside, like, hey, girl, this wine to go good with that cheese or with that, you know, what made you take it to that next level of entrepreneurship? Like, you know what? I'm going to start slaying these boxes. Slaying. <laughs> you know, that's exactly how I feel sometimes. I'm slaying them. <laughs> right. You know, that's how it is. The hustle is real. Right. Up. Right. right. I dig it. So tell us how you got into it. So, um, well, the first part of your question, it is um, a subscription, but uh, well, it is and it isn't. People can buy one box um, if they want, either try it out or as a gift for someone, um, or if it's based, based out on wine that they're interested in but don't want to subscribe. Because I have a few customers who um, have bought almost every single box but have not done a subscription just because they have commitment issues. <laughs> but... Yeah. Um, Right. So, um, but we have three months, six months, and then we have a um, quarterly option. So you don't have to get a box every month. Um, and we have a rolling 12-month um, um, subscription. Just so whatever you're comfortable with, um, whatever tickles your fancy as far as wine pairings and things, um, that's how our, our subscription works. But um, I like as that. far as it's like non-committal, committal. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we have to live for everyone. <laughs> um, but as far as how I got into slanging them, um, honestly, it was my friends who kind of encouraged me to just try it out because um, they were helping me taste the wines whenever um, I was doing my studies, come over and, and we'd go through the wines and, and they'd learn a lot. 
from it and um, from the snacks and things. And so they were like, well, you should just try it. And so I did and and people have enjoyed it. It's It's been really, um, really good thus far. No complaints. I, I got a whole bunch of questions. I can't just hold the show. It ain't even my show. I'm just a co-host. I'm just on the <laughs> side. It's her thing. She Oprah. I'm, I don't be. You do it on the piano. I don't know. Whatever. I'm the <laughs> Oprah. I'm just, you know, the guy. I don't know. I'm no, we are, uh, we are a tag team in this show. Do not right, make him right. You already know how he is. But so. I have a ton of questions. I don't want to hog it. Okay. Go for it. All right, there. I'm just going to keep running. Oh, so, yeah. like, look, let's get this out. Like, you got the box, right? Yes. How do you manage all of that? Are you oh, got like, oh. subscriptions in a month? You like, <laughs> you got like, yeah. <laughs> Are you like James St. Patrick? You got workers right. working <laughs> in the box. You got a dope boy. Yeah, hey, you man. Got four girls. Hey, man. You got a box, man. You know, hey. You got a package of like this. Yeah. Right. I got clothes on in my package. You know what I'm saying? I see that in the what what is happening? Like how, nobody's stealing cheese out of here. Right. Hey, I pat everybody down when they walk out. Ain't nobody taking no snacks or wine up out of here. Right. Yeah, all right, I'm just giving you a hard time. But no, but seriously, yeah. like you, you got a major operation going on. You know, you, you went from the ideation mm -hmm. phase, hey man, you know what? These snacks and wines go good. And if you get you right, now you had a point like, man, we gotta uh we got to, you know, be Birdman hand need, rubbing. You know, ROI. Yes, return uh -huh. on the investment. So, you know, you, <laughs> with the, you know, I don't know, you got a plug or however you do it. You know, you get locked in, you get your boxes, mm -hmm. you know, you design the boxes, you get print on the um, boxes. I don't know, I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure there's some sort of copyright, some LLC, some business registration happening there, a lot of business administration and uh, things Legalese. like that. So, yeah, some right. legal stuff. She's a legal person, you know. Uh, yep. So just I do it all. That. Like, <laughs> you know, you're a businesswoman. Like, you're, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Empire, power. You got yeah. boxes. How do, you, like, <laughs> how do you move your weight? How do you move the weight? Um, That's too much to me chill. No, no, you're good. I, I do it all um, as of right now. Now, ultimately, the plan and the goal is to um, get enough subscribers to where I can send it off to a fulfillment center and have them pack and store and do all of that. But as of right now, uh, one of my spare bedrooms in my house is my office. And there's boxes of boxes and boxes of snacks and accessories and things. So I'm just managing it all on myself right now, um, which it's, I mean, it, having also having a full-time job um, makes it a little challenging, but but I'm learning a lot and, and I'm doing it. You are doing it big. <laughs> like, it's like 2.30 in the morning. I know there's some cheese. <laughs> I know we'll go with it because it's all here it with some. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's we make it very easy. Yes. How, do you, <laughs> how do you not like also like not go into your reserve? Because like I feel like a lot of people who start businesses too do mm. not do a good job of inventory. Mm. Yeah. Right? Yes. And managing yeah. their inventory, making sure they like, oh, girls, come over. We're going to have, like, brunch, girls' night. Yep. Dudes do the same thing. Hey, dudes, we go, you know, we all get together. Yeah, y'all just be having stuff everywhere. Yeah, but hey, man, we in the bar watching the game. Which one? Uh, I don't know. Just come to the bar. Which one? Uh, uh, right? Just come here. Come here first. Right. And we'll be yeah. right out. And then right. you know, everywhere. <laughs> But, like, right. how do you, like, make sure that, like, your accounting and all of that, because, like, that is huge, it's, especially as, like, a growing new entrepreneur, and you have multiple businesses. So, like, yeah. like yeah. line it up, okay, this is for this business, this is for this business, and all of that. And shout out to yeah. everybody who is joining the live today. Yeah. There are a lot of people hey, hey, that hey, are hey, here that love you. So shout out to all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Real good. Yeah. 
Um, so I just, um, I feel like I go through phases where as I'm on point with my inventory and making sure that everything is accounted for and then something life happens and then I kind of fall off and then I got to catch back up. But um, it, like I said, it's all just been a whole learning experience, especially since like my background is computer science. So I don't have, I, I say I don't have a, a business bone in my body. So everything that I've done thus far has just been me learning and talking to some of my other entrepreneur friends um, and then um, talking to different mentors, taking on mentors um, who have helped me, help guide me through um, different processes that I can create to, so that I don't feel overwhelmed because that's the biggest thing. A lot of times you end up getting burnt out because you see the big picture, but you don't have any idea on how to manage the small thing in the big picture. Um, so then working on, on that this year and just making sure that I don't um, overwhelm myself. Yeah. Teach yourself, teach yourself. <laughs> right. Get, right. Get some of these. Right. <laughs> yeah. Anything. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. said you don't have a business going in your body. I totally disagree. I know, I know. Because your boxes are amazing. Yes, yes. You know, uh, we definitely had one. You know, it, it caused a rift between us. Because I was like, you know, some stuff we have to do. Right. So if you could, uh, to prevent this call, <laughs> send two boxes. Uh, we'll, we'll help you. <laughs> and we'll, we need to do the, you know, get the arrangements. With, you gotcha. Know, uh, you know, and I gotta make sure that they're nut free. The hardest part is not being them being nut nut free, because I don't want anybody to go into anaphylactic shock or anything over there. <laughs> yes. We do not want a replay of my thirty six birthday. Right. Right. Yes. <laughs> Although he, he will, girl, he will take a pic. <laughs> oh. <Okay. laughs> I'm like, Still Black History Month, so Black Business. Yeah. Support Love Black. Them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He was reading that. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. He was like, "Ew." Yeah. Wait a minute. I'm a little slow. You know, women a lot more, you know, sharper uh, uh, than us men. So greatest on the mm -hmm. curve. Give us some time. Mm -hmm. Make sure you gotta catch up. Got you. <laughs> I can't. Some days I'm just like, why? Why, Jesus? Why? Um, <laughs> Never a dull moment. We're too. I do. We're not drinking black owned, and I apologize for Black History Month. That's okay. No we worries. got this at the Fifty Shades of Rose tasting in DC. It was part oh, okay. of one of the, the, the tastings. I can't even read that, but yeah, that's what we're exactly. drinking. Yeah. yeah. The bottle is extremely long, pause, and yeah. uh, you get to put it at the bottom of your wine fridge. Yeah, the wine fridge is going to be Yes. Cold. It is. How do you pronounce this? PA. PA. You got to read that to me. Okay. What did I say? <laughs> I, can't, I can't read it. PA. Nah, nah. Yeah, so we're yeah. just going to play and put this up here. Uh, it's French. Good, it's it good, gotta, folks. It's um, got a V or U. I can't really make it out. Y'all read that. If y'all understand what this is, please put the phonetic spelling in the uh, in the chat. So I know we can, the uh, re ra is at the end because it's like my name and it's French. So and it's, it's backwards. 
but I don't, I don't know. Yeah. So I don't know nothing like, about friends. <laughs> so maybe she could do it. I don't know. Yeah. So if you know um, French, uh, please translate and you know, or pronounce, you know, phonetically. Or, or we'll go to Google later. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Google Translate will help us later. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you have another business venture which does events and yeah. travel and all these other things. Tell us more because I, you're in our region. <laughs> I feel like we need a trip. I feel like we need an event. <laughs> so, um, Vacays and Fiddles started out as um, basically like an Instagram blog um, because some people were tired of me um, posting all of my food on my on my page, and so they were like, "You should start a blog." Was like okay, so I started out vacays and vittles, and then um, and then I um, just wanted to do like I've always loved hosting. So I have people over all the time, I'm like the hostess with the mostest. Um, but I wanted to do um, events just to try my hand at it and and see. And so um, I started doing a couple. Um, and then when I um, met my, my boyfriend, we started a, a series called Island Vibes, um, which is an outdoor kind of like Caribbean music festival type event. So um, last year, we were at the Sandlot here in Baltimore, and every month we'd host, every month during the summer, we'd host Island Vibes with different DJs. We had a couple Caribbean artists come through, but with like um, Caribbean food vendors and family friendly, um, it's free, and everybody come out and, and have a good time. And so... Um, I still do some events on the side, but it's honestly more so like if I if I feel like it, if I have the time and the bandwidth to do so, if I feel inspired, then I'll put something together. But that's what um, Vacays and Vittles started out as, just like a food and travel blog. And then I started hosting events. So I haven't hosted any um, trips yet, but... Um, who knows what's going to happen in the future? <laughs> COVID is over with almost. Hey, come on. Man. Yeah, the dog is uh, it's yeah. like, nah, you gotta do something now. He was like speaking up real quick. It was like being boisterous, like, nah, you gotta gotcha. I hear him. I hear him. <laughs> so what I think is it sounds like this year, maybe, maybe. you know, their travel restrictions are being lagged. Ukraine, Russia, banging. Uh, maybe <laughs> we don't go to the world, but you know, <laughs> right, right. Maybe there's maybe an island somewhere, somewhere, something. Yeah. yeah, somewhere remote because, like I said, Ukraine, Russia, but everywhere yeah. else is like, go ahead, girl. <laughs> y'all do y'all. Yep. Uh, yeah. South, South <laughs> Africa is gonna be like, yep. Yeah, that's one place that I want to go. Right. So maybe you do your first trip to South Africa, far from everything. Yeah, maybe, and they have lots of good wineries down there too. So and that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. I'm saying this yep. for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to go. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Let me and do then, some research. Yeah, and so like this Caribbean event, do. Are you doing it this year? Are you guys looking forward to doing it this year? So we um, would like to do it this year. Uh, we just have to find a space because Sandlot closed. Um, That's they it. Are no longer, yeah, yeah, in Baltimore. Um, they are, um, I think they were open for five years. I don't think they, they were supposed to be open for five years, but they kept pushing back because eventually 
the lot that it sits on is going to be turned into buildings. Um, and so for us, it was the perfect venue. Um, and so finding something that's similar to that, that still gives the vibes that we wanted, that we've created, um, and so allow us to do it for free. Um, that's what we're, we're kind of looking for. Well, I mean, I'm going to just go ahead and just not point at somebody, but point at somebody who owns a recording studio here in D.C. Um, maybe they mm -hmm. can help. I don't know. It sounds like an offline conversation for you guys to talk. Mm -hmm. you know, talk to you just deal with some artists in the D.C. area. And he's like, okay. maybe y'all. Gotcha. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, but I just yeah. say, yeah. I hear yeah. people are really so it sounds like fun to me. Yes. Yeah. 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 Always a good time. Yes. Because you know, I love you so goddamn funny. Uh huh. To the soul. Me too. <laughs> so, oh, oh, you're so funny right now. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shada, is there anything that you have coming up that you want to tell everybody about, let them know that you're working on uh, before we go? Because I know you had a very long travel day, too, so we don't want to hold you. Um, so I'm working on bringing back um, my flight night events. Um, I did one in September, which was fight night. Um, fight night. Flight. Flight. Flight night. Flight night. Okay. I like it yeah. too. Like wine flight. Flight night. Um, so we did. I uh, did one in September, and um, one of my friends, who's a chef, she did a cooking demo, and I picked um, picked out wines that paired with the foods that um, that she was making, and so it was a fun way to to taste some um, interesting food and to taste some different wines. And it was very informal. Everyone had a great time. And there happened to be wine left over when I was done that everyone ended up drinking. And it turned into a small, like, kickback. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah. I like that, yeah. yeah. I don't like both sides. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um so yeah, I'm looking forward to um doing some more of those. And the premise is to just have different activities each time. Like um I know a few people who make candles who host um do um, candle making classes. So I'm gonna be having them come and make candles and drink wine or um like learning how to, um, what is it, make the different, um, what is it called when you do the flower bouquets? Oh, like, yeah. The yeah. Yeah. So just fun activities where you can come and drink wine too. Um, Girl, you just give people an excuse to drink wine. I'm here for this. Yeah. I mean, do you need an excuse, really? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I could be like, yeah, I brought this home, but really, yeah. I'm yeah. here because I'm yeah. drunk. Yeah. I'm here for that. <laughs> yeah. Well, how yeah. can people connect to you, find out more and more about when, when these events are happening and all of that? Gotcha. Um, so of course, my Instagram, um, poor underscore pairings. Also, I'm on Facebook at poor pairings. Um, and then my website is poorpairings.com. Um, any events that I host will be on there. Plus the boxes, uh, the snacks that we've had in different boxes or just some fun snacks that I think are cool to just have on hand um, when you're drinking wine wine accessories um, are on the website also. So, plenty of ways to do that. And we give you the last question. No. I was like, man, I was enjoying my wine. Look, <laughs> so, big boss lady, you out here 
slinging these uh, mm-hmm. boxes, subscriptions, everything popping, you know what I'm saying? You know, you got to watch mm-hmm. over your shoulder because, you know what I'm saying, people hating on you now. <laughs> your profile's increasing out here, you know what I mean? You know, mm-hmm. you know what I don't know what I was doing. I was interpreting everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was. She was doing a good job of it. So, you know, now you as an entrepreneur, what has changed in your life from, you know, before you started a business until now? Like, what has changed inside of you? Like, do you see the world differently? Do you approach situations differently now that you have a business? You know, but how how do you um, how do you view the world now as an entrepreneur differently than you did before you uh, started your business? Um, I think now I see the um, all of the work that that goes on behind the scenes of um, creating and um, continuing to cultivate a business. Um, I'm a pretty introverted person when I don't know people. And so it makes it harder for me to network. And so I'm learning to put myself out there more um, and learning to be more comfortable with talking about my business and pitching my business and, and, um, asking for uh, certain things, whether it's a partnership or a collaboration or um, just some um, uh, questions, learning to be comfortable with opening my mouth and, and, and asking for those things. Um, it's definitely been uh, a high learning curve as far as from what I'm used to with my regular nine to five job. Um, but it's been, it's been fun. It's a, um, a, a lot of work and I find myself thinking about my business 24 um, <laughs> seven. But, but yeah, it's, I've, I've enjoyed it. I'm definitely enjoying the ride. Yeah, and plus, if I didn't have it, then I wouldn't be talking to you guys. I so, see. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you guys were one of um, the first people that I talked to for um, professionally about my business on the podcast that last last year. Yeah, I think around June or July. I think, yeah, yep, because yeah. we started in April of last year. So, yeah, look at you now. I know, I know. <laughs> just like a little butterfly, just mm-hmm. taking yes. off. Definitely growing for sure. <laughs> I'm like a proud aunt. Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> when I got that box, yeah, you don't know the divide you call. Yeah. No. Oh my God. Look <laughs> like, down the show. Like, this is dope. He definitely uh, was like, we can joust. Right. Um, <laughs> jousting sticks for a cup and for some snacks. And I was like, I'm vegetarian. Like, I don't know how we're jousting over things I can't eat. Right. Right. Hey, I got something for you. <laughs> 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 going down about that box. You did a good job with that box. Yeah, but that goes to show you. you know how to curate something that people mm-hmm. really like, that yeah. people are are really excited about, and people yeah. really want, right? Because mm-hmm. if a household is like, hey, yo, that cup is mm-hmm. mine, you know, <laughs> you, know how, you know how people are with cups at home. Yeah, like, yeah. You know whose cup is who, and when people drink out of other people's cup, and they see them yep. drink out of the other cup, yes. That's a problem, for sure. <laughs> the only child life I had in problems. I right. Like, and I have known. You know, we had a lot of conversations to have. And I'm the youngest of three, so my cup was my cup. Everybody had <laughs> down with my cup. Had I known that the cup would cause the divide, I would have said two. <laughs> Solved a lot of problems here. Yeah, yeah. I know clearly. We couldn't, we couldn't figure it out. We just went on and you know, went, went at it. I need this cut, man. 
I'm trying to do better. <laughs> Gotcha. I'm glad. I'm glad y'all worked it out. <laughs> so, real quick, when can they reach out to you again? You know, run down your, your you know, how they can find you. Get a subscription mm -hmm. of five. You try to get a whole bunch of like, ten. You know, a person. Yeah. Try to lose some weight. Yeah, we try to get weight. We got tugboats to move. We got shit. To exactly. Move. Yeah. <laughs> right now, all that on the port. Tommy is trying to lose weight. Right. <laughs> I just caught up on a show uh, earlier today while I was laying in bed. No one? Yes. Uh, yes. Hey, no spoiler alerts, because I got to. No, no. I'm still None. investing in power. I got to catch up in. Uh, what did it do to kill this father, Tariq? I got to catch up in that series and then. Oh, Lord. Yeah, gotcha. I got a lot of catching up. Please, no spoilers. Mm -hmm. The no, things no. we can't talk about. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, um, Poorparents.com? Yes, poorparents.com, at poor underscore pairings on Instagram. Um, you can find me on Facebook at uh, poor pairings. Just do the search. Um, but yeah, all of those have my. Um, have my products on there. Well, Facebook doesn't allow me to sell my boxes on there for some reason because it's wine affiliated, even though we're not selling wine. But there are shops that sell wine on Facebook, so I don't know how that works out. Um, don't worry, I'll check. We'll check. We'll check offline. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But I okay. see. Wait. Isn't your boxes on Facebook? Yeah. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> your boo because we need their support. Yeah. And vacation mm -hmm. bills. Yeah. Poor parent. Get both of yeah. them. Go, go, go on vacation with your box. Take your yes. <laughs> You're gonna need you gonna you and you go eat in an airport because that's yeah. what we did. Really? That's what I was trying yeah. to get for was the airport because we had a flight. So I took mm -hmm. uh, the box to the airport. Got crushed. Gotcha. And the day he crushed it. Yeah, I didn't make it. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, he, he literally was right. Like, that's, that's what I mean. Like, it, it didn't make it. No, no, he, he got through. He yeah. just ate it all. <laughs> I got it right here. I smelled it too. I know how to move. Hey, <laughs> we ain't stopping over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know your person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. so we need to have you guys come like, up here. I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Thing. We need to have you guys come up here so you can come in, come see the tasting room that I created. Have some yes. wine. We can bust open some of the snacks. Um, yeah. Baltimore. Wait, no, you're a little further north of Baltimore. Um, I don't, I, Dundalk is a little um, east of Baltimore. So oh, really? along 625. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I. We got the Costco situation. We got a yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> got you. We 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 see each other. Yes, yeah. but we will be up there. We'll see the tasting room. Maybe do a live from there. Yeah, all of the things. And then you gotta come down to DC, and yeah. maybe we do a live here. Maybe we do a tasting yeah. for you or a joint tasting. Yeah. I don't know. Awesome. Quarantine is is lifting. Who knows? Man, Corona is yeah. over with. Wear your mask. Yeah. <laughs> right. Wear your mask. Right. Able to yeah, yeah, all of that. But, um, yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. here shake it up. <laughs> yes, but this has been fun, Shana. Thank you so much. And get some rest. Welcome back for your yeah, vacation. You. you deserve Thank it. You. Continue to treat yourself well. People, go Absolutely. to four pairings and get you a box or three at Vacays and Vittles. Learn about the events. Go to three mm -hmm. or four events because we're going to be in mm -hmm. town. So we want to see you there. Hey. Thank you guys so much for having me again. Of course. You know me, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs>
in some of our products, which were like the jacket, the t-shirt. We're going to also post some photos of them so you guys can see them, get a little more, you know, acquainted mm -hmm. with them. Uh, the Double bag. Oh, that double bag, you know. So Zeus's stuff is in it, you know, the rosé out of the double bag. If I don't do nothing, I'm a ball. I'm gone all day like a clock on the wall. Go get your money, little duffel bag boy. Right. Now go and get your money. Little duffel bag boy. Right. I never ran from a, but today I'm sure not about to start running. Go and get your money, little duffel bag boy. I said go and get your money, little duffel bag. Boy. You know when you read or like say like rap lyrics like that, it sounds like a nursery rhyme, like Jack the Little Jack the Quick Jack. So what he did with the candlestick, he jumped over. He jumped show. over the candlestick. Yeah, you know. But any any rap song could be a nurture rhyme. Yeah. It's all about custom. how you say it. Yeah. Don't say the cuss words. Skip over it. <laughs> Sound confident. And make it tie in to your main point. And rhyme. Mm -hmm. And and, and rap to the beat. I know a lot of young dudes. They don't like rapping to the beat. You know, the beat is there for a reason. It said come find for your music and for your creative and artistic abilities and capabilities. Don't ignore those lines. It's like coloring outside the lines in a coloring book. Uh, it just don't look or sound as good. So uh, I don't know. Is this bartender Ben's final thought? I hey. feel like I feel like I feel like this is Jerry Springer's like final. Yeah, thought. you know, you know. Like this is where this is this is where like Steve was like Jerry. <laughs> yeah, you know. And, uh, so to all my young rap entrepreneurs and performers, hey. Be kind to the beat. Make sure you ride it. Pay attention to the uh, to the percussion, the kick and the snare. Rhyme on beat. Make great music because we need it. We're in a deficit. You know, we might have World War Three, so we need something to uh, you know have a good time to at least fight to anyway. And uh, we can't get jiggy to the stuff that y'all putting out. So jiggy, you can't get jiggy with. Wait, wait, wait. So man, we need we need Jiggy. better rap songs. Uh, we're going into a new, you know, era of world, uh, you know, world at crisis. Um, we we'll probably be at a, a World War Three within three months. So we need better music from our rappers out here. Um, I see my cousin on there, and she know how I feel about Philadelphia rappers. Damn, I wish we would step it up. But um, you know, my final thought is all rappers out there, be kind to the beat, listen to it. Hear the kick in the snare, ride the drum beat, and put out some quality music. Three words for Philly rappers dreams and nightmares. Okay. I got two. Stop yelling. <laughs> I love y'all. See you guys next week where we have an amazing guest who makes candles. Uh, uh, uh.